Good next exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So this is alcohols number five. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to them at the top of the screen now. So the question covers some different reactions of alcohols, test on your reagents and conditions, and the structures of products. Hope you like the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So part A, the elimination reaction of an alcohol involves reacting it with an acid essentially. So you could literally just say acid, or you could say H+, or you could actually specify sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid. What's going to happen is it's going to eliminate a water molecule from the alcohol. So we're going to take the OH and an H from an adjacent carbon and it's going to put a carbon-carbon double bond between those carbons, which means that the organic product is going to be that alkene there. Oxidation reaction of an alcohol, so the reagent is potassium dichromate 6 and sulfuric acid, or you could use sodium dichromate 6, obviously, and the acid as well, or you could just specify the ions, so it's cr 2072 minus and H+. Plus. So this is a secondary alcohol, so it's going to be oxidised to a ketone, which means that the organic product looks like that. Part C, substitution reaction of alcohol. So we've got some options here. I've gone for sodium chloride and sulfuric acid, but you'll see I've written up there any halide. So that could be sodium fluoride and sulfuric, sodium bromide, sodium iodide, etc. But because I've gone for chloride, that's the organic product I would have to give. And finally, part D, a sterification reaction of this alcohol here. So you'll notice I've written any carboxylic acid there. I've just gone for ethanoic acid. You'd also need a catalyst of sulfuric acid. So that would be the structure of the ester I'd have to give. Obviously, if you've gone for a different carboxylic acid, that's going to be reflected in this part here. Now, for this reaction, you could have also used an acyl chloride or an acid anhydride instead of the carboxylic acid. And if you'd gone for either of those options, you don't need the catalyst.